don't get me wrong, this is a really nice look. I love, I like how it looks. Hey beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am a pro makeup artist and today I am reviewing for you the latest eyeshadow palette from Laura Mercier. This is the holiday edition, but it's come out just for the holiday period. So let's get right into it. So the holiday collection or the winter collection at Laura Mercier has quite a few pieces. There's a beautiful blush, it's shade Chai. Um, I couldn't get my hands onto it when I went to the store because they just didn't have it. So I only picked up the eyeshadow palette that looks just so beautiful. It's all shades that I would see myself wearing all year around. And the palette has one, two, three, nine shades. And you have matte, satin finish and a metallic finish. And the shade are actually, the, the size is actually quite big. And the palette retails here at 48 pounds. So just under the 50 pounds mark, which I think it's a decent price for a palette this size. And it really makes me think of the Clay de Peau palette that I haven't bought yet. I'm not sure if I'll get it or not. Uh, so I've started with this one. I think the colors are quite similar and you've got a little bit more here for, for your money, basically. So I'm going to swatch the shade before I demo a makeup look with it. Obviously, I already have my base on to save a little bit of time. Laura Mercier is a little bit of a quiet brand, in my opinion. I do have some of the eyeshadow stick from Laura Mercier that I absolutely love. I think there's a beautiful collection of them. They've had that viral foundation not long ago, even though it was not a new product. It just went viral because of a video on Instagram. I think there is there's definitely a market and some people that are really, really liking Laura Mercier. It's not necessarily anything innovative, but for me, this eyeshadow palette is very pretty. The shades are gorgeous. It's very neutral, it's very everyday wear, it's very soft, um, but I think you can have this in your makeup kit and just kind of use it all year around. So let's swatch the shade. So you've got a matte, so your base at the top, and it feels quite, it's quite powdery. I was expecting something a little bit more creamy. Um, so if you have a dry skin, I don't know how well it's going to hold. So that's the first shade. It's really just your base. It's kind of a, it's not beige, it's not white. It's kind of that cream color. I think there's a name at the back. It's called Flurry. So, okay. Uh, the other one is the, it's called Velvet Ribbon. So it's a matte finish as well. Oh, this one, the texture feels a little bit better. But again, it, it's very creamy, but yet very powdery. So I am not sure. So that's the purple here. It's very soft. All the shades are very soft. And you're not gonna have anything that just goes out, stands out. Um, this one is a shimmer shade. Yeah. I prefer the texture of this one. I don't know why, maybe it's because there's shimmer into it. It's actually really nice. It's a nice taupe. Under you've got another shimmer shade, kind of a sandy shade. It's um, almost a metallic or multi-chromatic kind of shade. Just a really, really nice reflection. Again, they are very soft shade, uh, very buildable, I have to admit. Then the fifth one is that middle gray one. So I, the ones that are the finish that is the satin finish and shimmer, the texture is much nicer. The metallic ones, the matte one, sorry, feels really 
powdery and almost dry. Okay, this one is actually really nice and it's a matte one. So these two at first were a little bit too powdery for my liking, but this one is actually really nice. And then we've got a really nice lilac shade. This is beautiful. The shades are actually really nice. It's obviously more of a winter scheme, color scheme palette, but I think for spring it will equally be really nice. And the two last, yeah, another purple. Feels like it's a very purple E palette. It makes me think of the Celestial uh, Dior backstage palette that just came out um, a few weeks ago. And the last one is that blue, green, blue, like aqua kind of color. This on brown eyes will look absolutely spectacular. So these are your nine shades. The first one here is a bit hard to see. It's just your base, kind of a beige. It's not white, but it's more of a cream shade. Then you have a matte purple. This is a, this is a velvet finish. You've got a metallic finish. Uh, these are shimmer and satin finish, metallic and then satin finish, and then this is the matte one. They are really nice. I mean, it is an everyday palette. It's for the, Chris the holiday collection. It's the winter palette. Obviously, the color scheme is very winter. Um, so all the nine shades are really nice. I think the color scheme is very pretty. You can create some beautiful soft look. It's nothing too extravagant, but I think that's the problem with a palette like this. We probably, most of us and you guys at home already have a palette that has, or many palettes that have colors and shade like this. And I don't think it's going to gain a lot of popularity because not because the formula is not good, uh, even though the first two shades felt a little bit too dry for my liking, but the others are fine. I think it's just, it's something that we all already have at home. It's nothing super new, even though I'm saying this and maybe some of you will be, I really need this palette because it's gorgeous and I love the color scheme and it's very soft, but I just, I don't think it's an essential in your makeup kit. And I'm just being really, really honest here. It's a really nice palette. It's beautiful. I love the shades. I think you can create some super great looks. If you like that, a little bit more natural makeup look, something a little bit more soft and dim down. And if you have a very fair and light skin, it, this is going to be looking absolutely gorgeous on you. If you have a medium to dark skin, just forget it, it's not gonna work. It's just way too light. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm happy I get to review and test it because the product itself is good, but it's nothing groundbreaking. Even though it's nothing groundbreaking or new, it is still a nice palette to have. There's obviously a time and a place for a palette like this and probably some of you will say, you know what, I like it and I would like to have the palette. Go for it because you're not gonna be disappointed. Laura Merci is a good makeup brand and it's been around for a very long time. I believe it's part of that Estee Lauder group. Um, it's probably more of that quiet luxury makeup and Maybe if you're 25, you're not going to be attracted to a palette like this. I say that, but it might not be true. Some people just like to have that natural, soft look. It's definitely a natural, soft look palette. So I'm going to go ahead and create something a little bit more soft that is easy to wear. So I'm going to start with this shade here at the bottom. It is a satin finish. And I'm just going to apply on all over on my mobile lid. I've got quite a big fluffy brush just to kind of diffuse the product all over. Now for my crease, I'm going to go with 
this brown here it's called it's a matte finish shade and it's called ember so i'm gonna go with a fluffy brush into my crease and i don't want to take too much oops i have to admit that they blend really nicely into each other and the more you work the product the better the formula gets it gets a little bit more creamy i think you just need to warm up the product more than anything else so i did i've used the crease shade under my bottom lashes here now i need to add a little bit of brightness so i'm gonna add actually this shade here at the bottom and i'm going to come just here in the inner corner just to brighten up a little bit the inner corner just like this it just adds a really nice reflection and with my finger i'll use this shake it's kind of a it's a metallic shade but it's like champagne or sandy shade and i'm going to place it just right here at the top just like this same thing on this side doesn't matter, you can use a brush or your finger. It just depends on how much space you have. If you have very little space, you better off to use a brush. If you're like me, you have a lot of space, then you can use your finger. So this is the final look with the Laura Mercier Winter Palette. So the Winter Wonder Wonderment Palette. Don't get me wrong, this is a really nice look. I love, I like how it looks. Um, but is this palette worth 48 pounds? I don't know. The matte shade at the top, so the two matte shades, the beige and the purple here, they're very dry and a bit crumbly. The rest of the other shades are actually really nice. The texture is very creamy which is very pleasant it applies really nicely nothing has fallen under there's no little trace or any crumbs from the eyeshadow powder the look is very pretty it i love how the colors are melting into each other they're blending really nicely but again it's just an average palette and i'm not saying that to be mean or anything i think Everything kind of already exists. So you probably already have shades that are extremely close to this. It's not groundbreaking. If you like a little bit more of a soft makeup, very neutral, a little bit more towards the cool side of things. If you have a light to fair, light skin tone, it's going to look really good on you. But other than that, you can skip the palette you know without really being missing much also i think we need to to look at the brand itself laura mercier is more onto that natural finish very soft makeup um definitely tailored for a customer who wants something for an everyday makeup look easy to apply no fuss no muss and something that is good all year around. I mean, don't get me wrong, this makeup look is really nice. It's very festive, it's sparkly. Um, I added liquid eyeliner. It's the purple one from Chanel with the mascara. I love how it turned out, but I just don't think it's a must have in your makeup kit. I'm very curious to read and hear what you guys have to say about this palette and the makeup look. I know some of you will say, nah, it's not for me, it's a big pass. Probably some of you will say, no, I like it. It's, I really love the look. I love the palette. I like Laura Mercier. 
I love Laura Mercier. I've got many of her products or the brand product, I should say. Um, the skincare is actually really nice. I love the body moisturizer, but this palette for me is just, it's great. The matte shades are a bit dry, but yeah, if you're not really desperate for an everyday palette, you can skip easily. Um, so yeah, let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. As usual, I will list all my other makeup products that I am wearing today in the description. If you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button just down below. And a big thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.